Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part 73 of Let's Play Albert Odyssey. And I have in front of me a very, very old guide. For those of you who remember when Electronic Gaming Monthly had a secondary publication called EGM Squared or EGM 2, a little 2 next to the EGM logo, they focused mainly on strategy guides, like just quick two, three pages of strategy guides. That was actually my first strategy guide for Albert Odyssey, and I have it still in front of me. I, I kept it because it was one of the best written strategy guides for this game, even though it only really gives a paragraph for each area. It doesn't give you any of the story, it just tells you what you need to do to progress. So, but that's what we're going to listen to. Alright, so we know there's a bunch of topsy-turvy doors, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in through this door, like it tells us, in the room of the right of the entrance point, enter the room, then exit through the door you came in. So obviously we have to, because it's not there. And you are now in a new room, next go back through the door you came in again. Haha! -ha. Now... Oh, that treasure chest. And now we see the stairs to the second floor. I hate these things. They're just creepy looking. And they have the creepiest animation for when you hit them. Like their eyes go all buggy and... Yeah, creepy. And they're drooling. Some damage to it with Kia, and then just a little stick. So we'll light it on fire. You die. And critical hit from the tomahawk. And that does it. Not a lot of XP off of him, but I mean, we've been seeing him for a little while now. Nothing in the chest. Alright, second floor. The clown again. Alright, what does it say that we need to do here? Enter the room that is just to the right of you. Hey, a treasure chest. We'll get that too. Coffin? Skull Killer. What is Skull Killer? Oh, that's a nice sword. Anything else in here? There's another way out. Uh, look at this treasure chest. Oh, no, it's a trap. It's a trap! Our tongues can't repel flavor of this magnitude. Oh, Admiral Akbar, you must ever be my favorite Star Wars character. You had like the least lines of any character other than Boba Fett. Boba Fett had like, what, two lines? And everyone loves him because he's a bad I think Admiral Akbar rocks. But I think it's mainly for the character design. Nothing in the treasure chest, more than likely. I'll search it and see if I get anything. Oh, yep. Peppermint time! Alright, now we go through this door, is what it is. I assume we go this way, because it's kind of linear. Gore Viper. Not anything to do with Al Gore. <laughs> because he's too busy on the moon farming moon sapphires and taming the mighty moon. Future armor reference. Go go look it up. That's, yeah. Anyway. I'm done making dated references. Except I'm not. I mean you guys know by now I'm in no way done making dated references. Stop hitting me, you stupid snakes. Tired of all of you. Kind of like, you 
Nintendo screamed spirit bomb every time I use that attack. But Pike is not Goku. Grizz gained a level. Kia gained a level. Yay, levels. And I get into a fight opening the door. Do I get into a fight with a door? Holy crap, it's a dragon. He looks like the same type of dragon, but I don't remember if it was a red dragon or if it was a different type of dragon. So, we're gonna have to kill him. Just to be on the safe side. Yeah, yeah, holy crap, even with a defense boost, that kind of hurt. Alright, we'll, we'll blow him up. People just keep gaining levels like mad. It's insane. And treasure chests. Magical robe. Phalanx. Magical robe. Is armor. Phalanx is a weapon. Which always seemed kind of weird, because to me the phalanx was always felt like a defensive military procedure. I mean, use giant shields. Alright, so this, that's the stairs. We can go back and check, but I can almost guarantee you there's nothing there. So. Hmm, do I want to go back? Do I want to go back? Do I want to go back? Basically, just this. A phoenix shield. Yeah, it's just a phoenix shield. Hero shield. Everyone got an upgrade. Now, at least everyone who can use shields. That's pretty much all it is, is we are going to go through a series of doors. Tired of doors already. So. And now, a boss fight. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go ahead and end this video here because I know this boss fight's probably gonna be as long as the other one, so I'll go ahead and just try to edit the videos to where they're all close to the same. So, yeah, uh, until then, I'll see you in our next installment. Later, everyone.